My name is Oyeni Elizabeth. I am the current Miss Fun Fair Nigeria. I'm into pageantry. I'm also a caterer. Dinamo, can you just tell us your journey? What happened? What transpired? What led to what transpired? And just describe what happened. And just and the whole world went to this On 29th of March, I made a post on Sunday morning about a commissioner who happens to be my friend's elder brother. My friend's elder brother. The, my friend have made several complaints to me that he has a brother who is, who, who is a commissioner and he is not responding to her request and all that. So on that very Sunday, I saw a post of one comedian, local comedian in our, in our village there, who made a post of him sharing some relief packages. So I saw the post and it got me angry that look at the same person who my, my friend complains of. He's trying to get uh, the, the crowd's attention. He's trying to make others happy while he's not looking out to his own family. So after making that post, the same person who, who, who make the first post praising him went to screenshot my own post after insulting me under the comment box and went to share it to show him. So it was not up to an hour plus. I saw some group of guys, some thugs. They came to where I was staying because when I went to the village, I was actually staying in my friend's place. So they actually knew my location at the moment. So they sent some, immediately sent thugs with the hillocks and a gold color sienna to the place. They rushed me to follow them that the commissioner want to see me. I now asked them why. Now said regarding the post I made on social media about him that he has questions for me. So I went with them. On getting there, he collected my phone, smashed it and destroyed it. Asked me to kneel down. He asked me why I made a, that kind of post of him. So I told him it's because of the the, the, the things I've heard about him and why, as in why I felt bad when I now saw the other post of people trying to praise him. As in, I now explained the reason why I made the post to him. So he, he, he now told me, as in, do I, he, he, he now said a lot of things. After then, he, he flogged me. After flogging me, there are a group of guys waiting for this thing to happen. They were videoing me and making mocking me at the point so he was beating me asked me to go naked flogged me he made me go naked may he asked the guys to make a video of me they made a video of me and my three-year-old son was there too on that day so after the whole thing he still forced us me and the kid uh, the kid sister that we should apologize to the whole world about um, the post I made of him on social media, I should tell his fan out there that he's not that kind of person that I said he was. We are forced to make the video on our news. After making that video, he still, he still proceeded to say we should go to uh, follow him. When we followed him, he dropped my friend in their place and took me along to a hotel. It was in the hotel he raped me. So that was what actually happened. Now, when he was talking, it was his sister there. Sister witnesses. He have already when he was raping me. No, the flogging, when he was yes, he even flogged the sister. He yeah. flogged the sister too. It was after he flogged me. He now said it is too due to too much talk of the sister. That's why he she starts flowing too much and said all these things. So he flogged the sister too. Okay. But not as bad as mine. In front of the whole guys that were there, the talks and everybody, even his girlfriend, everybody that were there that day, he asked me to go totally naked. They made a video of me trying to say that in case I go back there to make another post about him, he would release the video all over the social media. He asked his boys to release the video 
and that that was why he made the video. The the play that in the local jail they took me to. That is is a student area. It's more like Kogi State Polytechnic, and the guys that are around the school area who are actually his boys. They run errands for him. He invited a lot of guys, and the the whole place was filled up because he wanted to, as in, humiliate me. He he, he plan they planned the whole thing. I there were a lot of guys in that place. I feel very bitter. I feel very bad because if not for the people that stood up for me, he thought nobody would ask for me. He thought I, I don't have anybody to ask because that was what he said exactly. He even told me that even though because of my son, he would have killed me, that it's because my son was present in the scene that that's what saved my life that day. The man was ready to, to do anything to, to destroy me. He is the Commissioner of Water Resources and his name is Abdul Mumin Danga. Has the Kogi State government reacted in all this? They are not doing anything, rather mocking me all over the social media for coming out to say what I feel about the whole thing. They have been mocking me. I just want justice, not because of myself alone because of every other person that they have been doing all this wickedness to, and they feel like nobody will ask. I just want justice for the whole world and myself. I have not been very healthy, but I'm sure they are aware because we, maybe through phone call we have contacted them, but by God's grace, I will be there tomorrow, Monday. Yes, I I know as a lot of women out there are going through even worse things than the one they've put me through. So the fact that I've spoken out, I know it will help others to voice out and fight and together we'll fight this. Mm -hmm.